Okay, I know we do not have a lot of time to waste, so let us literally begin. Hi, I'm Pavitra Shankar. Dr. Pavitra Shankar. I am an MBBS post MBBS intern at Lady Harding Medical College, New Delhi. And since now it's established that I went through MBBS and I went through the science stream of things in 11th and 12th, yes, I have witnessed last minute studying almost my entire life. It is literally embarrassing as to how many times I have studied a dumb last minute and somehow have managed to pass through that. But I know it's not ideal, but desperate times, desperate actions, let's just not think about that. Right now, what we have to do is get 100% results. So let us just begin. So I'm going to share with you today the five things or the five steps that I do whenever I'm in a situation where I have like this exam coming very close and I haven't started anything and almost every time rather all the times this has helped me pass through that phase. So I hope you like it and I hope you find it helpful. Number one, relax. Seriously, stop hyperventilating. Take my words, you're not the only one. A, B, you are going to get through this because this is not your first time as well and I know it, I know it. And C, only if you think you'll be able to do it, only if you think that you can cover up all of the syllabus in whatever time is left, is when you would actually be able to do it. Number two, make an action plan. Now, I know it might seem like a waste of time to actually sit and look through the syllabus rather than actually dealing with the syllabus, but this is probably the most important step. Now, how you plan your syllabus literally depends on you, but one golden rule is that you only have to do the high yield topics and if they are done, only then do you go for the other less yielding topics, the ones which are less important about 70 to 80 percent of the paper as a rule comes from about 30 to 40 or max 45 percent of the syllabus and this is for most exams where do you get to know which are the high yield topics so what you have to do is first find sample papers from all the years that are possible and find a pattern and keep writing it down so and how i do it as is if i have 10 chapters which i need to memorize i would write those chapter numbers or their chapter names 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 karke and then i would do tally marking that you know 1 2 3 4 cross thing as to how many times the questions have been asked and by the end of reviewing about four to five papers i have a brief or rather I have a detailed idea of as to how many questions were asked more often than not. Also there is another benefit to it. You actually get to know what kind of questions are being asked. How has the syllabus been divided? How would your paper probably look like? All of that idea comes from this one review. So then you would know that there are some chapters which are maybe difficult or lengthy but also carry the most marks or some chapters which are very lengthy or very tough but they literally carry no marks and you do not need to deal with them at least for now and there might also be units which are relatively easier which are very short subjects or very short units and they actually yield a lot of marks so now you have that idea once you know that then that is when you can prioritize and that is how you can divide your time judiciously sounds like a plan i guess so number three segregate now what do i mean by segregating i mean segregating everyone and everything into what is useful for this exam right now and what is not useful for this exam for example your friends not useful netflix prime any other subscriptions not useful educational apps useful if you need them for the subject books stationery instagram and other social media not useful so where would these social media apps go they will be uninstalled all right so basically what you need to do is gather everything you need food water books notes laptop pencil pen so yeah all the stuff that you need should be at one place wherever you're going to study number four finding the right place now do you have to go to a park in front of the nature or do you have to find a fancy cafe where most people work no i'm not talking about all that just find a place 
of isolation all right with has just you and no other external noise if you're somebody who needs some noise while you're studying have some music on which does not have lyrics oh my god how can people study with i don't know just in bieber in their ears and obviously it is different from the place where you usually sleep so your mind can actually segregate by its own that okay this is the workplace this is the sleep place and number 5 finally get to work now there are a number of ways in which you could take your studies and cover up your syllabus there are a number of study techniques what i don't want to share are the two are the two things which i use the most the two techniques which i use the most one method is called as the chunking method which i like to call the milestone method and number two is i don't know if there's a scientific name for this method but this what i like to call is my method Now, first talking about the chunking method. For example, if you have a chapter to do which has like twenty-two pages, and you need to know all of it, you do not just blindly sit down and think, "Okay, I will finish this chapter and then I will get up and go to work." And that is it, because most probably you will not be able to memorize all those twenty-two pages in one sitting. So what you do is, uh, you divide those twenty-two pages, even though it's just a chapter, you still divide it into two, three, or maximum four parts, right? and you do assign some amount of time to it all right so you assign one chunk some amount of time and then the next chunk some amount of time and then you start with a timer for example if you put 45 minutes on the clock you do know that okay you just have to do maybe five pages in these 45 minutes which is still doable rather than thinking that i would do 22 pages in the next 3 hours that sounds a little more to do to the brain even though we might practically be doing almost the same thing now a little cheesy variation that i like to do with this and i know it is cheesy because it is cheesy i usually uh, when i divide the pages or i count the pages 1 2 3 4 5 karke and on the 6th page which is the one i don't have to read i mark it with maybe a uh, post it or maybe i put a smiley on it or put a star on it and i do that to every page after the 5th page so that i'm not counting how many pages are left while i'm actually doing the mugging up part of it and whenever i see that star or that post it i know automatically that okay it is done for now now i have my break which should obviously be strategically timed and placed number 2 my technique and especially this one works for me not just when i am doing last minute studies but actually pretty much all the time and especially works when you are either taking a lecture or maybe an online class so for example i have to take an online lecture today at 3 pm about diabetes what i would do is i would sit at 1 pm or or maybe 1:30 pm and if i and whatever textbook i am referring to or if you have any pre made notes you take those notes you read them understand them and actually memorize them as if you are not going to watch that lecture after this so basically you complete your chapter once all by yourself all right note down if you have any uh, doubts or note down if you have any places where you like and eh, this doesn't quite sound right something like that just note that down but for now just memorize okay just understand and memorize do it all by yourself next step you watch the lectures and while you're watching the lectures obviously if you have notes or if you have a textbook uh keep underlining if you have a textbook if you have notes you don't really need to do that unless and until there's some extra information and you just quickly jot that down side me kahin pe bhi the lectures are usually like one hour so by this method i have literally done the chapter twice in a span of 2 and a half hours and i haven't just read it or heard it i've actually memorized it and the third step to this is after the lecture is done you go through the notes again you see whatever the other parts which you do not remember and you memorize them right there and then and that's it the chapter is over and you are definitely 100% going to remember this way more than if you just made notes while listening to the lectures that works for some people but at least for me doing it this way this has worked wonders for me wonders wonders for me not to mention saved so much time because obviously if i don't put any active efforts i am less likely to actually go back to those lectures in like the coming week also to memorize them So yes that is pretty much all for this video thank you so much for watching all the very best if you're about to take an exam and if you're a little worried i hope i was of some help to you guys 
just try this once just try these five steps once let me know if they work for you if they do not work for you i love to know thank you so much for watching i will see you soon bye bye